Hi guys, it's Andras. So as you can see, this time I'm not going to speak about lightsabers. So this time it's going to be something different. Um, I built another iconic weapon of the Star Wars universe. You probably know it. Uh, this is the E11 blaster, um, the weapon of choice for stormtroopers. Um, I built this blaster out of a resin kit um, for my um, approval for the. 501st uh, Legion. Um, it was a lot of fun building this um, replica blaster and um, well obviously I decided that um, apart from building it together I also would like to echo it with a lot of um, different electronics to not only look like an E11 blaster but also to feel like, um, sound like and yeah as a whole basically be like an E11 blaster. So what I did is, um, you can see here that um, the Hengsler counter, so this box here, it has on the side an uh, Audric LED display. Um, on, the others, uh, on, the, on the back side of the Hengsler counter, you will, you will see it later, um, there is a status light. What I also have um, is a um, very bright um, Three color RGB uh, high power LED module uh, in the nozzle. And in the barrel, I have something which um, I will show you later. It's a surprise. Um, so let's see what uh, this um, prop can do. So now it's in the, in the idle mode. Um, I can fire up and activate the blaster. Now the blaster is activated. Um, you can see here that um, now uh, on the back side of the Hengsler counter the status light went up. Um, in this state, when it's uh, in a power up state, it displays the, um, the battery charge. You can see um, the light gradually turning from green um, to um, so over yellow to red. So as the um, charge inside is depleted, um, this um, bar will go down. So it can be talks of as a, as a, a power level indicator. Um, if you shoot the blaster, that is so loud. then um, either you can see the ammo counter on the LED display. Well, I know that in the video it will not be visible, so I will uh, post some pics. So basically the LED display uh, displays my name, um, the mode, so now it's in, in the blaster mode and the number of ammunitions. You can see basically a representation of the ammo counter also in the, in the status bar. You can see as, a, as I keep it depressed, it will go into a repeater mode. Gradually the ammunition will be depleted until it's empty. Now um, there are two methods to recharge the blaster. One of them is a, is a manual recharge, so you can uh, keep the trigger depressed. and it will recharge the blaster. Another method is, is something which uh, I definitely wanted to try out. So this is the ammo magazine. I built in the ammo magazine um, a magnetic switch. So you can see here, uh, I don't know how well it will be visible, so the two dots, they are actually two magnets. And on the other side of the uh, ammo magazine, that's a piece of, of steel. So I can basically um, short um, the, uh, the switch. You can um, see that if it's um, reinserted, then I have the full ammo count. If I remove it, then it will basically, um, yeah, it will display basically empty uh, ammo counter. You, you will see the, the lights going down. If you reinsert it, it will recharge. So this is the, the, the second method how to recharge. So you can remove it, it will go down. You can reinsert the ammo count, the ammo box, it will then go up. Now, um, as to the shooting, uh, for the shooting to be better visible, the, the effects, I will um, switch off the light in the, in the room. I will try the, the Star Wars way.
So as far as, as, far as the Star Wars way, so usually if you um, shoot at a, a switch, it will blast, either uh, blown, and um, it will switch off the lights. Okay, sorry, I have to do it the manual way. Somehow it doesn't want to work. Okay, so um, the blaster has different operating modes. Um, what I've shown you before was the, the blast mode. So in the blast mode, maybe I will recharge the ammo so that we can shoot more. So now it's um, a full charge again. So in the blaster mode, you can uh, do single shots. You can see that there is a running light uh, in the whole length of the barrel. You can see it from different uh, directions. This is from the front. Or if you keep the trigger depressed. Okay. Now the ammo is empty. Yeah. And you can do also um, 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 a false repetition of the shots. There's also another mode. Uh, you, use, you know from the from Star Wars films the, the scheme where uh, the stormtroopers stun Princess Leia. So of course I wanted to have a stun mode as well. How you can go into stand mode, uh, you have to press the button two times. So the display will, will say stun, stun mode. In the stun mode, actually this is not a stun mode, it's more like a special effect mode. The first is a stun, so if you um, make a, a short um, press, then it will um, shoot a stun. another um, way of, of um, shooting. This is a kind of um, Wookie way of blasting away the enemy. So um, you remember from the, the Force Awakens film when Han Solo took the bowcaster of Chewie, charged it up and there is the very po powerful bolt of laser um, shoot. This is what I wanted to simulate with this one. So if you keep in the stun mode um, the, um, the trigger depressed then it will do the following. Whoa! It will charge up the barrel and then it will release a very powerful bolt. Um, this is actually the only mode uh, in which um, I let the full brightness of the, of the front light um, to, um, to flash. Otherwise this um, LED module is too powerful actually for, for such a blaster. Um, so and, and for, for the blast mode and for the stun mode actually I reduce the, the brightness and also, also the, the, the power of the um, front LED to around 20% and it's still so bright that I'm actually quite um, cautious to, to let the, the children play with it. So let, let's see it with, with, with light. So this is the, um, the mega blast mode. Let's recharge again. Okay, so that was a demonstration. Um, of course, um, you have the possibility because all the LEDs inside are uh, three color uh, LEDs. You have the possibility to go into um, idle mode and the config mode. And this was not it. So for the power down mode, you can go back to the idle mode, uh, and then you have the possibility for two things. First of all, you can change the sound font to a different one, and then. You also have the possibility to, to define the blast color. So this is now another sound font. It was, I mean, for this sound font, I um, stored red color, but of course you may um, set another one. So, okay, let's select blue, like uh, Finn's weapon from the Force Awakens. Color. And for the stun, okay, let's, um, well, you can of course uh, go through different colors. The traditional color is of, of course uh, blue, but I don't want to have blue because it's all this, the, um, the blast color. So let's um, select uh, more like a, some kind of um, golden color for this one. So there's a different sound font, a different, uh, with uh, the, um, slightly different uh, sounds. You can fire it up. And the funk back in, you can shoot. You can see that it's now um, um, a blue color.
can see the running lights in the, in the barrel as long as we have ammo in the magazine and then if you go to the um, special um, shoot mode then we have the stun and the mega blast Ooh, yeah blue is, is, is very bright So that was my 11 Bester. Um, I hope to, uh, you like it. 